Virat, for you. You know, we all know that fashion really reflects on one's personality. How do you think that fashion affects you as a sports person? Well, um, firstly, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Um, today, it's a very special day for both New Year and me to be able to do this together. Um, answering your question, I think fashion um, plays a very important role in, in presenting who you are and how you feel about yourself right. um, and how confident you are about yourself as well. So um, that to me is a very important aspect, even on the field, you know, the, the gear that I wear, it's not random, it's, it's precise, it's, it's um, you know, designed in a way that it syncs with me and the way I like it to look as well and how it feels when I, when I wear it. So I think there's a lot of detailing that goes into things that you wear on a daily basis and for me as an athlete on the pitch as well. Right. And I think that's a style statement in itself because I don't use random stuff, I design it myself. Right. And that I think is the essence of, of, of knowing yourself firstly and then presenting it to, the, it to the world with that confidence. Good, good, awesome. Um, you know, we clearly know that you love caps. How many do you have in your personal wardrobe? I'm sure everyone wants to answer, to uh, hear that answer. How many do you have in your personal wardrobe? Um, approximately? I think I have about close to 20 caps um, and all of them incidentally are... I think you'll have more, don't you think no, so? No, <laughs> incidentally all of them are New Era caps even That's before the, the association. All right, That's we have some royalty <laughs> happening here for that. No, honestly, I mean, wherever I went all over the world, um, New Era, obviously, as we all know, is the biggest brand uh, worldwide and yes. um, that's why I'm so excited about this association because them coming to India and doing this with me is such an exciting thing for them as a brand, but for me as an, as an athlete, to be able to have that kind of appeal to people that, you know, something like this can potentially work in, in our country as well, but right. even before this collaboration, honestly, all my caps have been New Era because they've made so many signature collections <laughs> that everyone wants to wear them. I told you he's a great guy, didn't I? He, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so how did New Era actually happen to you? How did it come about? Well, um, it happened because of this um, huge guy sitting here, Mr. <laughs> Bunty Sajde. <laughs> my uh, manager, I call him my brother now because it's no more a man manager-athlete relationship. Um, he got about, uh, sorry, he brought this idea to me and then I was like, who says no to New Era caps, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, and then the association went forward. Then as you saw the video that was shot in London, um, I actually went to the office and it was so cool, so chilled out. And they were so interactive and they were so keen to know me as a person mm -hmm. and what my likes and dislikes are and then design caps accordingly. Right. That's why these are so special to me because as I said, there's a lot of planning and a lot of detailing that has gone into Absolutely. making these caps. Yeah. And that's why they are so special to me. And only then I can present it to pe people because I connect to them first. Right. So that was the whole idea behind it. And there was no doubt in, in collaborating with New Era because they are the number one brand in the world. Uh, they've done so many signature collections before. So yeah. you as an athlete get confidence mm. that the collaboration is going to be taken care of. Yes. It's not a random collaboration. It's not just for, you know, presenting it out there. But you as an athlete are respected. Mm -hmm. You are involved at all stages. And that's what they are going to present it to the consumers as well. Thank you. 
Congratulations to a legend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great partnership. All the best. Bravo. What a performance. Hi. Don't we all want to... Do you want a moment alone with him? Please walk the ramp, sir. How do you do this? <laughs> All right. What made you write and record songs? How did that happen? Um, I think coming from the Caribbean, you know, music is a big part of our culture in the Caribbean. And I think everywhere in the world, music and sport go hand in hand. I'm a type of person love to make people happy. Uh, the way how I play on a cricket field, you know, I dance on a cricket field. So Did he make you guys happy? <laughs> Come on, I, let's clap for him. Uh, <laughs> Woo! It's just the way of my life. I'm a very happy, positive person, so I try to do music that can inspire people and make them enjoy, enjoy themselves. You are a very happy person, but you're also a very busy person. How do you manage to take out time from your busy sketch for this? Well, busy people make time for things they really want to do and things that they want to achieve. That's so true. I'm very passionate about music. I must say it's a hobby that I'm turning into more professional career now. Um, cricket will always be my number one priority, but there will be times where I have a downtime. So I, I do music, I record music, three to four songs I'll record and put it down and just have it there and release them at a particular time. Well, you do an amazing job at that. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer. Your favorite singer. My favorite singer is a guy by the name of Beanie Man. He's a dancehall artist. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dancehall artist in Jamaica. Um, <laughs> so he's the one is my favorite. Okay, awesome. What's the equation like with Virat? It's good. It's good. Um, Virat actually play under 19 with my younger brother, Darren Bravo. And I always tell my brother, Virat is a person he should look up to. And um, I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm here. I actually asked Vera to talk to my brother personally about batting, about cricket. Um, when I see Vera, I see the Cristiano Ronaldo of cricket. Whoa. Like, that, wow. that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the level he's at. And, um, well said. You know, we agree to, with you. For me as a cricket player, to play against him, you know, and to watch him play when you represent India or even RCB. is just to uh, admire the talent that he has, the, the passion he has for the game and for the sport yes. and the way he plays. So hats off to him and he deserves all the achievement, all the accolades that he's getting. Well